The A-back Phillies fought a defensive battle with rival Middle Georgia on Thursday evening, but Middle Georgia broke through with a goal with less than seven minutes remaining in the first half. At halftime, A-back coach Jimmy Ballinger made strategic changes to generate more offense. We were very evenly matched. They had 10 corners versus our six corners. We had eight shots versus their four shots. So everything we were in the lead of, the 50-50 ball, uh, we won 14 to 12. So going to get it, man, we were right there with them. Great protection from Lindsey Causey and other defenders slowed down Middle Georgia's offense for most of the game. But ABAC allowed a second goal to the Lady Warriors early in the second half. Yeah, we were stopping those shots. We just didn't mark up with the men that we needed to mark up on. Uh, some got loose, our wings. I mean, it's hard to be a wing and run up and down the field, up and down the field, and get, still get your mark. So they got through and just didn't pick them up. The Phillies offense couldn't catch a break, shooting wide and bouncing balls off the crossbar. It seems over the last two games, the opponents have figured out the Phillies' big scorer, Nikita Morris. Standout forward Morris already has 18 goals on the season, but hasn't scored in the last two games. Yeah, they, uh, the, the word around the league now is they understand about Nikita, and so they're putting a the player on her, marking her real tight, and then they're also putting a the player behind her to give her space so they can't, so they don't give her any wiggle room. After this 2 to nothing loss to Middle Georgia, Coach Ballinger, Morris, and the Phillies hope to turn it around against Oxford in their next game on Sunday, September 16th. For The Stallion, I am T.C. Johnson.